Hey everyone, welcome to Sassafras' World. Today, we are going to be reviewing the Mora Companion Spark that we got out of Poor Man's Preparing, PMP. There that is. There this is. Ooh, almost twins. Anyway, I've had this one same exact knife and I decided why open this one when I can just give it away. Brand spank a new. So at any rate, if you want to enter the um, contest, the giveaway, the giveaway, sorry, not the contest, you're right, the giveaway, um, all I want you to do is comment fire. Um, you can add extra things to it, just comment fire in the first place there. Um, and then in two weeks, we will draw with the random comment um, picker. picker. Yeah, so in that way, it's all fair and square. So if, uh, if you would, please share this video. And try to get as many people in on this drawing as possible. Giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> All right, giveaway. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm going to be doing some, um, just some woodwork, woodworking with uh, the um, spark. I don't recommend batoning with your knife. Some people like doing it, some people don't. I do do a little bit, but it's uh, small little bits. I don't try to take and you know, make it so you're batoning through wood so uh, wide that just a little bit of your tip is sticking out. Well, and then again, it depends on what kind of knife you've got. You know, I mean, if that's the only thing you have on you and you need to do that for some reason, I guess, you know, whatever. It, it is whatever. It's a controversial thing that uh, everybody's like, oh, you don't, shouldn't do this and oh, you should do that. You know what? You do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Pretty much, you know? If you love batoning through stuff, you go right ahead and baton through stuff. Awesome. Anyway, I am going to baton through a little bit. And we're going to try to do some feathers. I suck at feathers. So just to let you know, at any rate, I'm sure I was going to operate the camera while I'm doing this stuff or trying to do this stuff. And uh, well, I'm going to be trying to do the camera. Yeah, she'll be trying to make sure it's <laughs> as good as possible. All right. Okay, let's try this out. Now, if you're batoning wood, of course, and most people already know this, but you look for cracks like this. A lot of times those are all, all the way go through or... Lower. There I'm sorry. You, um, you look for cracks like this here. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right. Put this like this. Scandy grind. Help if I wouldn't miss. Sorry, that's not the knife. That's me pulling on it and bringing out the, bringing the tip that way. I should have gotten a bigger baton. Okay. That went right through a knot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that went right through a knotty area. A naughty area. All right. The only thing is, I guess, if you're going to baton, you might want to take this out, the, the fair seam rod, because it does become loose and pop out. Because of course you're vibrating and all it takes is one little twist. See if I can make sure I keep it in, uh, you know, in view there. Um, not too bad. It's a light knife, so it's not really meant for that purposes, for those purposes, but See if I can get this going here. Like I said, I stink at uh, curls. Well, and this wood's not the best for curls either, to tell you the truth. Too bad. 
Not too bad. If a person had some softer wood, this is hardwood here. It's softer wood. Um, the Scandi grind works really good for curls. Um, very easy to sharpen in the field. And um, the, the steel that they use, which I am not positive, it just says stainless. But anyway, the steel they use is a really good steel. It lasts forever, it seems like, and it does sharpen up halfway easy. So, another thing I want to try here is how sharp the spine is here. See if we can get some scrapings off of here. You know what, actually. This log is kind of rotten. All right. This is a softer wood. For starting fires, you kind of want that anyway. Hey, let's uh, do some carving, huh? than the other one. Yeah. Well, and if I had more skill at this, this is one thing I have not practiced a lot of. But yeah, I want to see how it scrapes. Just in case you'd have some fat wood or something, you'd want to scrape into a small, you know, which scrapes pretty good. as I would expect it to though. It scrapes reasonably well. See if these little things are uh, dry enough to start a fire here. May or may not be, I don't know. Okay, seems I could not get it to uh, start with just the chips here. I'm going to use a little bit of birch bark. Well, you'd think this thin stuff would really go up quick. How dry it is out here. 
I hate short fair seam rods. I'm kind of smoking just a smidge. Yeah. As you guys can tell, it's hotter than all Hades out here today. It is, what, September, September 3rd, or 28th? 29th. 29th. So really, this is the last thing I really want to do. And you guys might not even see this anyway. I guess you just gotta scrape harder. <laughs> there we go. That's what I don't like about short fair seam rods. I like the longer ones where you can get a good old, you know, pull on it or you pull it out. Um, it sure works a heck of a lot better. And no one worry, we got a bunch of water out here, so we're not gonna start the forest on fire. That is the Mora Companion Spark. Um, I probably didn't do it any justice. <laughs> my skills, some of my skills are pretty rusty. I gotta get out here and start practicing. But anyway, it's a very, very good little knife just to have even as a side knife. Um, the striker works well. It's just a little too short for my my liking, I like a four to six inch uh, ferrocium rod so you can get some really good sparks uh, just in case you got damp material or something. But at any rate, it definitely will help out in a pinch. Remember, now we are giving away this Mora Companion Spark in two weeks. So comment below the word fire. And then anything else you want to put in there. You know, I love reading your guys' comments. It makes my day when I'm like, oh, or I open up the YouTube channel and I see that someone commented. It just really is a neat thing. Um, anyway, we love you. And until next time, have fun, but, but be, be safe. safe.